Welcome back. We're here with Kelly Olson from the Village Family Service Center talking about co-parenting. You obviously deal with uh, this issue with what you do. So what's mm -hmm. the number one issue? As co-parents come to you, what's the number one issue they talk to you about? Um, it, it, it varies depending on child's development. We see a lot of kids in, in, our, um, in the village actually in the three to six age range. Um, and they're typically having a lot of issues and crying and really suck to one person's leg and having a hard time transitioning back and forth to different houses. And so that seems to be an age we see a lot in, in our office uh, for therapy. But there's a variety of issues. Uh, we see adolescents, sometimes parents will decide to commit to being co-parents, effective co-parents, and they'll get stuck from time to time on different issues. And so then they'll come into our office and, um, and want just help with that one issue. And then that's all they really need. They come in for one session and say, hey, we just cannot get past this. We're stuck on this issue. He says this, I say this, what do you think? And then they have this neutral party to kind of referee kind of the situation and provide some neutral zone. And then they can kind of keep on doing that from time to time. And I think that feels comfortable for them to kind of decide on it. I think that's key too to go in and get help because I mean th th you're treading on ground that you've never treaded mm -hmm. on before mm -hmm. and um, treading ground, walking, whatever, walking right. on ground, right. swimming. Um, yeah. But yeah, so I think neutral party is key. Right, yes. And, and we were talking too about just um, individual issues too. I mean sometimes there's a lot of issues that exist from the marriage and if you're finding yourself reacting a lot to the, your ex-spouse, you know, having a lot of emotional responses to your ex-spouse, it's probably a really good idea for you to seek individual therapy. Work some of those stuff out because when you're having conversations with that with your ex-spouse, you're probably having those e gut responses back from past issues that needs to be resolved. And those really need to be removed so that you can be an effective co-parent. How do you deal with this? Because one of the things I've seen when I've seen, I come from a divorced family, is that one parent tries to be the buddy of the son mm -hmm. or daughter, one parent tries to be the parent. Mm -hmm. And obviously the one that's trying to be the parent is like, come on, dude, or come on, woman, yep. help me out. Yeah. What are your suggestions in that kind of situation? That's very common, too, when we were talking earlier, too, about the kind of having the best house with the best stuff or whatever. Um, we all have strengths. You have, a, you have strengths as a dad, I have strengths as a mom, and I think it's important to recognize those strengths. And so just as we do when we're married, I think it's important to work together when we're not married as well. And so I say, Chris, you know, you're really good about talking about this issue. He's really struggling in his athletics or whatever. Can you handle that? And then if I use you and give you kind of a kind of um, a, a lift up, a lift up, then you'll recognize that I'm recognizing your parenting strengths, and maybe you'll pass that back to me. Um, but if we always focus on the negative, then that certainly impacts the the co-parenting relationship too. Any other things that we should be aware of not to do if we're co-parenting or to do, either one? Yeah, um, you know, there's always the websites. The websites are excellent. You can, you can actually do communications on the websites. You should always have conversations um, via text or those websites about what's happening with your child. Keep each other in t in more engaged. I'm experiencing more and more of uh, families um, sharing custody. The more we share custody, the more we have to have communication. The only way it works is if we have good communication. Mm -hmm. And so if I've had trouble with uh, my kid and his homework tonight, when you get him tomorrow, what are you going to do and, and to make sure that those homework is, 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 is getting done? Mm -hmm. You said those websites. Well, mm -hmm. Am I missing something? What do you mean you can communicate there's, there's, those websites? There's certain websites, I'm forgetting the name right now, but there's certain websites that you can actually go on that you can that you can do co-parenting conversations ah, on. Yeah. It's not email. It's not um, text messages. <clears throat> it's it's just kind of like a, it's a way to communicate back and forth about different things. Nice. Oh, thank you. Excellent yeah. tips. Kelly yeah. Olson, thank you. The Village Family Service Center in Moorhead. Give her a call if you have an issue. We'll be right back.